Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. This is morning prayer for Saturday, December the 15th, and the scripture for this service, Psalms 30 and 32, Isaiah chapter 8, verse 1 to 15, and the song of Zechariah. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. I praise you, beloved God, you have rescued me, and not let my enemies rejoice over me. Psalms 30 and 32. I praise you, beloved God, you have rescued me, and have not let my enemies rejoice over me. I cried to you for help, and you, my God, have healed me. You have raised my soul from the dead and restored me to life from those who sink into the grave. Sing psalms to our beloved, you faithful ones. Give thanks to God's holy name. God's anger lasts but a moment, God's favor through all lifetime. At night there are tears, but joy comes with dawn. I said to myself in my good fortune, nothing will ever disturb me. Your favor had hid me on a mountain fastness, and then you hid your face, and I was put to confusion. To you I cried, to my God I made appeal. What profit would my death be, my going to the grave? Can dust give you praise or proclaim your truth? You listened and had pity, and you came to my help. You have changed my mourning into dancing, and removed my sackcloth and clothed me with joy. And so my soul sings to you unceasingly. O oh, beloved God, I thank you forever. Happy those whose offense is forgiven, whose sin is remitted. O oh, happy those to whom you, O oh God, impute no guilt, in whose spirit is no guile. I kept it secret, and my frame was wasted. I groaned all day long, for night and day your hand was heavy upon me. Indeed, my strength was dried up, as by the summer's heat. But now I have acknowledged my sins, and my guilt I did not hide. I said, I will confess my offenses to you, and you have forgiven the guilt of my sin. So let faithful people pray to you in the time of need. The floods of water may reach high, but they shall stand secure. You are my hiding place, O God. You save me from distress, and you surround me with cries of deliverance. I will instruct you and teach you the way you should go. I will give you counsel with my eye upon you. Be not like the horse and mule, unintelligent, needing bridle and bit, else they will not approach you. Many sorrows have the wicked, but those who trust in you are surrounded with loving mercy. Rejoice, rejoice in God most high, exalt you just. O come, ring out your joy, all you upright of heart. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. I praise you, beloved God, you have rescued me and have not let my enemies rejoice over me. The lesson is from the prophet Isaiah, chapter 8, beginning at verse 1. And then Yahweh said to me, Take a large tablet and write on it in common characters, belonging to Maher Shalal Hashbaz, and have it attested for me by reliable witnesses, the priest Uriah and Zechariah, son of Jerobachiah. And I went to the prophetess, and she conceived and bore a son. And then Yahweh said to me, Name him Maher Shalal Hashbaz, for before the child knows how to call my father or my mother, the wealth of Damascus and the spoil of Samaria will be carried away by the king of Assyria. And Yahweh spoke to me again, because this people has refused the waters of Shiloh, 
that flow gently and melt in fear before me. And therefore Yahweh is bringing up against it the mighty flood waters of the river, the king of Assyria and all his glory. It will rise above all its channels and overflow all its banks. It will sweep on into Judah as a flood and pouring over it will reach up to the neck and its outspread wings will fill the breadth of your hand, O Emmanuel. Band together, you peoples, and be dismayed. Listen, all you far countries, gird yourselves and be dismayed. Gird yourselves and be dismayed. Take counsel together, but it shall be brought to naught. Speak a word, but it shall not stand, for God is with us. For Yahweh spoke thus to me while his hand was strong upon me, and warned me not to walk in the way of this people, saying, Do not call conspiracy all that this people calls conspiracy, and do not fear what it fears, or be in dread. But Yahweh of hosts, him you shall regard as holy. Let him be your fear, and let him be your dread. He will become your uh, become a sanctuary, a stone one strikes against for both houses of Israel. He will become a rock one stumbles over, a trap and a snare for the inhabitants of Jerusalem. And many among them shall stumble, and they shall fall and be broken, and they shall be snared and taken. Here ends the lesson. Now let us offer our prayers and petitions for God's people throughout the world, for our church leaders, for all clergy and ministers, for this gathering, and for all people. For peace in Jerusalem and in all the world, for goodwill among nations, and for the well-being of all people, and for justice and peace. For the unemployed, especially Carol, Bill, Robert, and Carrie, for the poor, the sick, the hungry, the oppressed, those in prison, and those in any need or trouble. For the mercy of God community, and for the Sisters of St. Francis of Philadelphia, for all who seek God, or a deeper knowledge of God, that they may find and be found. I ask your prayers for the departed, especially William, John William David, and Margaret and for all those who have died. We praise God for those in every generation in whom Christ has been honored, especially Francis and Claire, that we may have grace to glorify Christ in our own day. That God who's begun this ministry may bring it to fulfillment for the intentions of all who've asked our prayers and for all of your intentions. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Blessed are you, O God of Israel, you've come to your people and set us free. Blessed are you, O God of Israel, you've come to your people and set us free. You've raised for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of your servant, David. Through your holy prophets you promised of old that you would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. You promised to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember your holy covenant. And this was the oath you swore to Abraham and Sarah to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship you without fear, holy and righteous in your sight all the days of our lives. And you, my child, will be called prophet of the Most High, for you will go before our God to prepare the way, to give the people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. 
In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Blessed are you, O God of Israel. You've come to your people and set us free. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And glory to God whose power of working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation, in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. 